Yes, I think often in the first instance the British police might well deploy with British military, but also um, a diplomatic effort. So there's a diplomatic effort going on, there's a military uh, effort going on, and in the middle is a, is a veneer of issues that are best dealt with by the police. So if a bridge, for instance, collapses and there's traffic chaos, it's a very simple kinetic problem. But the military don't really want to be dealing with traffic congestion in the middle of a theatre. Um, they, there might be... Um, allegations of abuse by the local police. There might be attacks on aid convoys. They tend to be best dealt with by civilian police uh, resources. Uh, and I think that's where we come in. Uh, what we want to do is work with our military colleagues and also the diplomatic effort, soak up the matters that are very classically um, police and contribute to them, help to solve them and make the whole environment permissive for recovery so that you know, it might lead into a wider uh, security sector reform, transition, hand back, whatever it is, uh, we have a contribution to play. So I think IPAB um, should be prominent, I think it needs to be promoted. It's early days and I know Mr Port's very passionate about it and I think the more requests we get in, the more times we deploy and the more we do a good job when we do deploy, I think um, the future's bright in that regard.